Okay, so you can see my hair looks a little kind of all over the place right now. And that is because I slept on it before it was all the way dry last night. So I woke up just like this. <laughs> it's actually the middle of the day and I kind of left my hair like this so that I could show you um, what to do if this ever happens to you. <laughs> uh, I think you can tell that it's kind of like all weird. So, um, it's not that difficult. I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I'm just going to shake my head, fling my hair all around, all different directions. Okay, how about a little bit better, getting some volume? How about opposite directions? Oh. Okay, and then I'm not pulling my fingers all the way through the hair but I'm just kind of fluffing it a little and other way and then I want to get off any extra crunch so you can see that helped the shape a lot these hairs here I can kind of just twirl and lay down a little and, and stuff like that but it helped the shape quite a lot you can tell um, if you don't want it to be crunchy, then you're going to just scrunch it. I'm going to get really close so you can see really quick. Um, there's not a lot of crunchiness to it right now. I mean, it's just a little bit stiff in just a couple of places. So when you really go and shake it a lot, um, and then of course after sleeping on it a little bit and stuff, it takes off a little bit of that crunch. But basically all you do to get the crunch out is scrunch it. Just like that, just like we did when we were putting the product in. Just scrunch it and it's going to get more fluffy and more soft. You can put your fingers here in at the, the roots and just gently slide forward to help loosen those um, curls on your scalp. All different directions. Okay, and just, just um, scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Okay, so I'm going to show you the back. My The back is maybe just a little tiny bit flat right here, flatter than I want it to be right here. So I'm going to put my fingers underneath um, at my scalp and pull down. My hair has shrunk up quite a lot now that it's really curly. A little more body just by lifting here. And that's about it. And then I can go and just take one or two of these curls that are being a little haywire and maybe combine them with another curl. Or just kind of tuck them in. And then I like to do a little bit of hairspray. If you have one curl that's really thick, you can separate it a little bit. If I wanted it to get really fluffy, I could totally run my fingers through it. I could totally um, try to run a little brush through it. Depending on the type of curls that you have, um, you might not be able to get a brush through it. <laughs> okay, I want a couple of the curls at my neck to hang down a little bit. So I'm just going to take them and pull them down. There we go. And this is day um, one, obviously. So it's going to be tighter curled than on maybe day two or three. And then if you like it to stay really, really tightly curled every day, um, you can just apply a little bit more of the, the lubricant and that will help to shrink those curls back up a little. I am actually trying to grow my hair out. So um, once I do get a few more inches on it, I'm going to have these nice little curls that hang down and I'm excited about that. Right? Show some more texture and design along that. So there. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it taught you a little bit about how to make your curls behave. So that's the finished product. Hope you enjoy. See you later.